The movie starts with a girl named Giselle. She reaches a gas station in the car and asks for some stuff from the store owner. The store owner asks her truth or dare. Hearing this, the girl starts weeping. She says I don't want to play this game further even then he asked her again and again truth or dare. Due to it, Giselle sets a girl on fire and also apologizes while doing this. Then the scene shifts to a girl named Olivia. And she used to make videos for YouTube and her best friend Marky arrives. She asks Olivia to go with her on vacation. Firstly Olivia refused but when Marky insisted she agreed to go. Later, they move to Mexico with their other friends. They are shown enjoying themselves in Mexico and Olivia meets a boy when they are in a bar. His name was Carter. They become friends meanwhile, Olivia's other friends arrive. Now they want to go to a place where they can do a party for a whole night, because that bar was about to close, and Carter says, I know a place where they can do a party for the whole night. Marky doesn't want to go with them and she asks to go back to the hotel room. Then Carter takes them to a deserted church and they get shocked to see that place. Later, Olivia makes a selfie with all of them and they start playing truth or dare. Carter panicked when it was his turn. He tells after choosing truth I have chosen Olivia as a target. And I called you here for playing a game because I was in search of a person with friends. He would come here easily whenever I will call him. Nobody understands what Carter said so they consider it funny. Carter was leaving and Olivia tries to stop him. But he says this is a real game and once you have entered, this game will not leave you. You will die if you will lie and will not complete the dare. Your death is confirmed if you will try to leave the game so you have to follow all rules. Carter leaves after telling this and Olivia doesn't take him seriously but she doesn't find her friends. Then suddenly, her friends appear in front of her and they were looking terrible. This was just hallucination, then she finds her friends and they were fine. Olivia gets scared, so her friends take her from there. Now Olivia comes to the classroom for taking a class and truth or dare was written on her table. She seems it strange but she ignores it. Later, she finds some pamphlets when she reaches home. Truth or dare was written behind one of them. Olivia becomes surprised to see this and Marky arrives when she was sitting in her room. Here we discover Marky's father has ended his life himself. And she says to Olivia there is only you after my father's death whom I can believe. Olivia says it's not what you think, I have no interest in your best friend. I consider him my brother. Marky believes Olivia and becomes happy. When Olivia comes out truth or dare was written on her car. Olivia becomes furious at the boys standing nearby because she thinks they have done this. She shouts at them being furious and then she reaches the library and finds everyone looking terrible. They surround her and compel her to choose truth or dare. And when they force her Olivia chooses truth. Hearing it, they ask her together what secret her friend Marky is hiding from her. Olivia says Marky is cheating on her boyfriend Lucas. Marky and her friend Lucas also hear this along with everyone. Lucas becomes furious and was leaving from there. Marky also moves behind him for making him understand. Olivia apologizes to her while holding her hand but Marky says don't dare to touch me I will break your hands. Olivia's friend is shown playing a pool game and trying to talk to a girl. But the girl was leaving then she changes in a strange way. She asks him truth or dare. And he chooses dare, the girl asks him to do the dare but when he couldn't complete it, he changes. He ends himself while falling from the pool table. His friends get scared seeing it. Olivia is with her friends in the next scene and she tries to make them understand about truth or dare. They consider it fun and they receive the video of their friend who died from the pool table. Olivia gets panicked and surprised as well to see all this and understand Carter said truth. Their friend died because of it and Olivia tries to make her friend understand this. Lucas doesn't believe her and leaves. But Lucas hears a voice calling him towards him and then he sees a wall painting. The painting was of truth or dare. It means he has to choose one from truth or dare. Lucas considers it a joke done by his friends but then his hands start burning. And after some time, truth or dare was written on his arm. After it, he calls Olivia and tells her about it and says I always liked you. Actually, he was revealing his truth while choosing truth. After it, Lucas reaches his friends and tells them about this truth or dare. Then Olivia shows them the selfie and tells this game is moving with this selfie sequence. Marky did still not believe on all this and she was considering it a lie. Suddenly, she receives a message and she has to choose truth or dare. Olivia asks her to reply and Marky chooses dare while obeying her. Then she was asked to break Olivia's hand to complete the dare. Marky wasn't ready for this but Olivia takes this serious. And forcefully breaks her hand with a hammer through Marky. They immediately take her to the hospital. And when Olivia's friend was taking out snacks he feels an old man behind him. The old man was dead already and when Olivia's friend turned to see there was no one. Suddenly, someone asks him to choose truth or dare. Hearing it, Olivia's friend doesn't understand anything and the old man attacks him. He holds his neck so he gets scared and says truth. As he says this, the man disappears. Meanwhile, an officer arrives who was talking normally. But then his face changes and he asks Olivia's friend to tell the truth. He comes to his friends and tells them what happened to him. He tells the game forced me to tell my father the truth that I am not a good boy. We notice Olivia's friend is feeling good after telling all this. 
they discover the next turn is of their male friend while seeing the selfie. They message him after seeing it, but he ignores their messages. They reach there when he was in the interview. And they see him coming out, but then he remembers he has forgotten his bag inside. He moves to the cabin to get his bag and the lady closes the door meanwhile, her face changes. Then she asks Olivia's friend to choose truth or dare. He chooses truth but says a lie, his face also changes. Then he hurts his eye with the pen while stabbing it. And he dies there. Everyone gets scared seeing this and when they reach home Marky says Carter has started all of this. And he is the one who can end. Olivia tries to search him online but it was useless and Marky searches for truth or dare and discovers Giselle. She finds the video clip we have seen at the start of the movie. They start checking Giselle's profile. And they find Carter in her selfie, they text Giselle while making a fake account. They ask her to meet them as the police are also in search of her. Olivia's female friend is shown who was also asked to choose truth or dare. She chooses truth but the game forbids her and says this game doesn't work like this. If two people have chosen truth, the next person must choose dare. Marky asks everyone to go out of the house to check and they discover their friend got a dare forcefully. The dare was she will move around the roof until the bottle finishes. That's why now they try to save their friend. They walk with her while lifting a mattress. So she will fall on the mattress. There was a gate on the way having sharp rods on it. Olivia breaks the gate with the help of the car. During this, their friend was about to fall on the car. They place the mattress on the car and she escaped because she falls on it. At the same time, Olivia receives Giselle's message and she was calling them to meet and they go to meet her. Meanwhile, Giselle arrives to them but she was scared. And when they ask her about Carter she says he was our friend. The game has given her the dare to trap others in the game. That's why he was compelled to do this and trapped you. During this, Giselle apologizes to Olivia and takes her name. But Olivia gets scared and surprised because she didn't tell her name. Meanwhile, Giselle tries to shoot Olivia for ending her. But Olivia's friends catches her, actually Giselle got the dare to end Olivia. Now because of not completing her dare her face changes. And she ends herself while shooting and they become astonished to see this. They get scared and then Olivia reaches a detective with her friends. She tells him everything about how her friends died because of this game truth or dare. Hearing this, the detective forbids them to go out of the city. In the next scene, the game gives dare to Marky's friend to live with Olivia. Marky becomes furious hearing this and leaves from there. Later, Olivia and Lucas move to complete their dare. Lucas searches online and finds an old survivor. She was a nun and somehow escaped from this game. So they go to her home for meeting her but discover she can't speak. They request her and tell their problem and the lady tells them the mission of the game by writing it. They discover someone is called a demon through this game. This game has been possessed by the demon. It can even possess people, locations, and even people's ideas. This lady and her friends were the first to play this game. Lady tells them, the person who releases the demon only he can imprison it. The lady gives them a spell to read on the demon seven times and gives them a soil pot. Seeing the pot, Olivia remembers they have seen this pot in the church. It was broken and the lady tells them they have to sacrifice their tongue while saying the spells. Due to this, the demon will be again imprisoned in this soil pot. Here we discover the lady can't speak because she sacrificed her tongue. They have no idea who has broken that soil pot with which the demon was released. During this, Olivia remembers Giselle has told them about a girl who maybe has broken this soil pot. She has released the demon and during this, the officer arrives and takes Olivia's friend with him for talking to him. Then Olivia calls Marky and discovers Marky and Lucas both has chosen truth. That's why the next is the turn of their friend who went out. He will also be given a dare, then Olivia's friend is shown who was taken by the officer. While talking to the officer the game gives him the dare to compel the officer to beg for his life. When he tries to do this while taking out his gun, another officer reaches and ends him. Meanwhile, Olivia and Lucas arrive and get scared to see this. They reach Marky and the game asks Olivia to choose truth or dare. Olivia chooses truth and the game asks Olivia to tell the secret to Marky she has hidden until now. She gets scared to hear this but then she reveals her secret in front of Marky. She tells she was with her father when he took his life and I know what happened there. She tells I went to your home after getting angry with my parents. But your father misbehaved with me because he was drunk. He couldn't bear this when he came into his sense so he ended himself. Marky becomes depressed after knowing this and leaves from there. Olivia goes to the detective where she discovers only four people have left from this game. In which there are Olivia, Marky, Lucas and one of Giselle's friend. He is still there and Olivia becomes surprised to hear the name of Giselle's friend. The detective shows him his picture and he was none other than Carter. Olivia asks about him from the detective and discovers he is living in an apartment. Giselle lied to them because she wants to save her friend. Later, Marky is shown, and Olivia goes to her. And finds her ending herself but Olivia stops her while telling her about Carter. They reach his apartment and he gets scared to see them. He got disappointed and lost his courage but. Olivia says don't be worried we can escape. She says you are the only one who can end this game. Hearing this, Carter thinks they are lying to him. 
He starts beating them but Olivia takes him at the gunpoint and warns him. Now Carter gets ready to move with them. They reach the church and Olivia asks him to read those spells seven times. During this, the game gives a dare to Lucas to end one of them. But he doesn't want this so he moves far from them. Carter reads those spells seven times and Olivia asks him to cut his tongue. Carter forbids to do this but Olivia warns him to end him while shooting him. She makes him understand if he wants to stay alive he has to do this. Lucas failed to complete his dare, so the game demon took possession of him. Olivia and Marky hold him and when Carter was cutting his tongue Lucas kills him. Later, he cuts his neck and dies there. Olivia and Marky also become depressed because their best friend also died as well. Meanwhile, the game asks Marky to choose truth or dare. Marky chooses dare and the demon asks Marky to shoot Olivia with the gun. Unwillingly, Marky shoots at her shoulder and she was possessed so Olivia says you are now a part of this game. Because you are in Marky's body right now and ask it to choose truth or dare. The demon chooses truth and Olivia asks how can we escape alive from this game? The demon says now you can't escape because only Carter can do this. He is dead now, so you have only a way to trap the people in the game and compel them to play this game or you will be killed. The scene changes and Olivia and Marky are shown escaped from there. As Olivia has told everyone about this game through her YouTube channel, the people who watch the game are now a part of this game. The movie ends here. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.